Mr. Eldon must now be left to himself. Boom. The coming of her sister's family. so very near at hand. It became Emma's prime object of interest. Sometimes like all you want to do is run. And during the ten days of their stay at Hartfield, it was not to be expected that anything beyond occasional assistance. <laughs> Could be afforded by hers to the lovers. Mrs. John Knightley was a pretty, elegant little woman of gentle, oh, quite in quite manners. Mrs. John Knightley was a pretty, elegant little woman of gentle quite manners. And a disposition remarkably amiable and affectionate. It's, it's she was not a woman of strong understanding or any quickness. With this resemblance of her father, she inherited also much of his constitution, and was delicate in her own health. John Knightley was a tall, gentleman-like, and very clever man. But with reserved manners, he was not tempered man. This man is all, this man is Not so often unreasonably cross as to deserve such a reproach. But his temper was not his great perfection either. And even when you're next to me, I feel like you are gone. Mr. Knightley was to dine with them, rather against the inclination of Mr. Woodhouse. Oh, who did not like that anyone should share with him in Isabella's first day. Emma's sense of right, however, had decided it. And besides the consideration of what was due to each brother, she had particular pleasure from the circumstance of the late disagreement. Between Mr. Knightley and herself, procuring him a proper invitation. She showed they might now become friends again. She hoped it might rather assist the restoration of friendship. That when he came into the room, she had one of the children with her. The youngest. A nice little girl about eight months old and very happy to be danced about in her aunt's arms. <laughs> it did assist. For thus he began with grave looks and short questions. He was soon led on to talk to them all in the usual way. And to take the child out of her arms and unceremoniously. 
she could not help saying, as he was admiring the baby. What comfort it is that we think alike about our nephews and nieces. But if you don't want to tell me As to men and women, our opinions are sometimes very different. Here we go. But with regard to these children, I observe we never disagree. <laughs>